It's early summer on the Pacific coast. Several miles offshore, the world's longest migrating mammal is making its 12,000 mile journey. The gray whale. They're headed from the lagoons of Baja, California to their Arctic feeding grounds in the Bering Sea. But what if part of this arduous migration could be shortened? Near a small town on the coast of Oregon, some gray whales have done just that. Welcome to Depot Bay, whale watching capital of Oregon. Residents are undoubtedly proud of their unofficial mascot. Whale watching is big business, but why exactly do approximately 200 greys return every year and spend the summer here? The answer lies in the dense forests of bull kelp that surround this stretch of coastline. Tiny mycid shrimp live on the kelp, and for a hungry grey whale, this is an easy and plentiful source of food. These residents are known as the Pacific Coast Feeding Group and make up about 1% of the total species. Being opportunistic feeders, grey whales are not fussy about their food source and it seems this lot has found a way to avoid adding a lengthy 6,000 miles to their migration. These kelp forests are right on the coast, and so whales often come within 50 feet of land, making Oregon one of the best whale-watching locations in the world. There may be a price to be paid for these residents who have opted out of the traditional migration. Research has shown that they're shorter and lighter than their fully migrating counterparts. The reason for this is unknown. Is it an adaptation for feeding in shallower, warmer waters? Or could it be a negative effect from the stress of being closer to human presence and pollution? While the population is still rebounding from the whaling era, they have gone through a recent decline, and seeing the return of these amazing residents year after year fills us with appreciation and hope. If you enjoyed this video, here are a couple more you might also like. Also do as these dolphins do and follow us and subscribe for more amazing marine life content.